Hello and welcome to Get Creative. I'm Evan Schmidt. It's really good to have you here. My guest today is Marianne Bayer. She's an actor, writer, and producer. Hey, Marianne, thanks for coming on the show today. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a Massachusetts native. Uh, came to Pittsburgh about a year and a half ago. And I am a SAG actress um, and have been chasing this acting thing probably since I was in middle school, just always love to perform, and um, I don't know, so now trying to hack it here in the city uh, and see what I can do. Yeah, so um, in your time as an actor and as a human being on this planet, what's something really good that you've learned? So, this is something that I learned when I went to clown school in Paris, 2006, 2007, um, I had been living in New York for, I guess, a couple years out of college, and I was miserable and feeling like I wasn't pretty enough, I wasn't skinny enough, I wasn't, I wasn't anything that anybody wanted. And I went to clown school sort of on a whim, and um, it was very, very hard, and I was not good at anything. But the thing that, at the end of the course, it was nine months long, and the end of the course, um, this French teacher, he's like, you know, every day he's like, oh, Marianne, you're so horrible. Why are you so horrible? <laughs> and everybody's like, he's telling everybody they suck and everyone's crying at the end of class. But the thing that he said was, and I won't do his French accent again, but he's like, you know, everybody does, we were doing like a scene from Romeo and Juliet or something. He's like, you do Juliet one way. Uh, Audrey does Juliet another way. Like, it's not as if there's some prescribed way that, like, Juliet is supposed to be played, period. It's like, you do you, you be beautiful, you, you know, he talked a lot about, like, find the beauty in you. And that, so I came back, you know, that was 10 years ago, and that has stuck with me because it gives you so much freedom. So it's like, no, there's not one way to be an actor. There's not one way to do a part. Even when I go in for an audition for Mindhunter, you know, I can get my brain all wrapped up. What are they expecting? What do they want to say? I think a lot of the times they don't know what they want to see. They want to see something that's going to make them feel something. Um, you know, the words are on the page and then you bring it to life. And so whatever that may be, it's like, I have to be me and I'm, you know, weird, and I sing, and I do strange things, and I'm just quirky in myself, and that's what I bring to my, the parts I audition for, that's what I bring to my relationships, that's who I am, and, you know, that's like the greatest thing, because then you don't have to try to be somebody you're not anymore, and, and that's a relief, so I tell people, you be you, in all of the wonderful weird ways, or not weird ways, that you are, and that is your ticket to whatever success because because you're being authentic and you can't top that. That's right on the mark because so many people aren't just being themselves. So you never really find out who they truly are. And yeah, from the acting point of view, you have no idea what they want. That's why they hired somebody else to do it besides themselves is because they're like, well, I wonder what this person can bring because they're a unique individual with a unique background and life experience. Like, that's what you're there for. So, yeah, I've met a lot of actors that are like, oh, I'm not sure. And it's just like, just bring something. Bring a lunch. Yeah. Bring, bring your phone. Yeah. I don't know when you shouldn't bring your phone. Yeah. But So, anyways, what are you I'm working on right now? Um. So, right now, I, am, I have a web series uh, called Killing It, which can be found at the website maresmcaps.com M-A-R-E-S the letter N-K-A-P-S dot com um, we have nine episodes that we call our season one with uh, my writing partner Jonathan Kaplan and we are in, uh, working on season two which will either be an episodic or a longer uh, film type thing so we hope to shoot I would love to shoot that in Pittsburgh um, because there's a lot of great resources here in terms of crew and talent and affordable places to um to shoot in and i'd love to do it the end of this year next year but it might be more next year 
Nice. And where can people find uh, season one and find you if they want to? The season one uh, is at that maresandcaps.com website. And then my reel and any information about me as an actor um, is at marianbayard.com. And they can also find you on IMDb, which if they do, it helps you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I'll have that in the show notes as well. Well, Marianne, thank you so much for coming on the show today and getting creative with us. Absolutely. Thank you. That's it for another episode of Get Creative. You can find more information about my guests in the show notes. Be sure to subscribe so that you get the next episode in your sleep. And please give the show a review. For more information about me, go to evanschmidt.com. Follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. And check out my vlog on YouTube where I share lessons that I've learned. Thank you for listening. Now go get creative.